This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Infinity Tree. This design is stitched from one edge of your quilting space to the other and you start with a long flowing line and you want this to have a slight subtle curve to it. And then you're going to turn this line just stitching back and forth into gentle waves or placid ocean. That's a design, uh, an earlier design from the free motion quilting project. And you will find that this entire design is created by former designs. So it's really kind of a combination of many different designs that we've seen and learned and they all come together to create a new design. So I'm just layering this, I'm stacking these waves together, just kind of hitting that line, travel stitching back, flowing uh, just a wiggly, simple wiggly line. and. Uh, trying to keep it consistent, but at the same time just simply trying to fill the space evenly with a beautiful texture. And the effect I'm going for is just simply rolling hills. Okay, once that is completed to your satisfaction, just simply travel stitch to one side or the other and fill in the area right below your flowing hills with a small layer of pebbling. And I found it easier just to do uh, maybe one single line of circles every once in a while you can kind of build it up a little bit make it a little thicker with several circles in a cluster but generally just kind of one ring of circles just along this one edge and just take your time there is a lot of thread build up when it comes to stitching circles um, you want to stack these really tight against those um, the hills area of the design and whenever you stack stuff together this tightly you have a lot of travel stitching and that creates a lot of thread buildup which can be a challenge so just take your time and stitch carefully and if you ever hear your your needle kind of catch uh, just be listening for that kind of thing just slow down and try and take some big stitches to get off of that area so your needle is not heading the same particular place over and over and over again so now it's time to start our infinity tree and the first thing that a tree needs in order to grow is roots deep roots and this is another design from the project called tree roots and you just start with flowing lines and you backtrack and you wiggle out with more lines the trick with this design is the backtracking if you don't travel stitch back carefully then uh, it doesn't look good it doesn't look like a nice design so make sure to always be travel stitching back and creating several branches of your tree roots so that they fill in your space evenly and consistently and you can make this really as big as you want you can fill the entire space or you can leave open areas it's entirely up to you it's kind of your design where you want to take it a lot of people had said that they want to learn how to stitch landscape quilts how to make landscapes quilts how to piece them how to applique them well my personal opinion is why bother learning how to applique it when you can just simply stitch it on plain fabric and that's what we're doing basically and as you can see it's a lot more fun and a lot more freeform because you're able to create things in thread that you can't really create easily with tiny pieces of fabric unless you're really 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 good at applique <laughs> so I'm just continuing to branch these tree roots down and definitely do check out that design separately from this design uh, just to see how that fills an entire block whenever you're not uh, filling it in this manner off of um, in it within a landscape setting the biggest thing to keep in mind when travel stitching this much is that uh, it really just takes practice to travel stitch. Uh, if you uh, stitch off a bit, it's no big deal. And especially with this design, just simply travel back over that area a couple times to build it up. And that actually ends up looking even better. Three, four, five lines of stitching in one area doesn't actually look bad when you want uh, some of the big tree roots to be nice and thick and stand out. Okay, now it's time to start the tree. And this is really fun because I didn't mark any of this. I just kind of started wiggling around and creating the branches and tried to create a symmetrical tree. 
And what I found was that this actually ended up feeling a lot like sharp stippling. That's another design from the project. So check out that design, stitch that a little bit, and then you'll probably be ready to stitch this. You're just creating branches, long skinny lines, coming to a point, then uh, kind of backtracking a bit, then coming to another point. You know, it's just really just stitching backwards and forwards. It's not really any rhyme or reason to it, and there's really no way of messing it up. I don't, you know, there's no wrong way to stitch any of these designs from the project. They're all uh, your own creation. They're all how you stitch it. No one's going to look at your signature and say, oh wow, that's really bad. You shouldn't write your name that way. Uh, that's just not how it's done. Everybody has their own way of stitching these. Everybody has their own way of writing. And that's the really fun thing about it. That's what's been so much fun about creating all of these designs. And this is the 365th design. So that's why it's a combination of so many other designs from the project. And you can see how the tree has kind of taken shape with all of its branches. And then it kind of just branches out and you can create some more roots and some more hills if you want, building that texture up as much as you want until you're happy with it. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Infinity Tree. For 365 awesome free motion quilting designs created by me, Leah Day, please go to Free Motion Quilting Project. That is at freemotionproject.com.